everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys another exciting Adobe Photoshop tutorial. Today, we're going to be showing you guys how to create something that looks like this, which I titled Energy Sphere in the Sky. As you can see, it's kind of like a glowing sphere of energy that's just kind of uh, floating in the sky right here. So I was playing around with an effect like this. I was trying to get it to work with my new logo, and I ended up making something that looked completely different. And this looks pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. So I just decided that I would give you guys a little tutorial showing you guys how I made this right here. So first of all, I do have to say I got the idea from this tutorial that I saw on tutsor.com. I probably said that wrong. And he tried to make an image that looked like this, and that looked pretty badass. And so I used pretty much the same methods that he used in this tutorial on my image that I got right over here. So what you're going to need for this tutorial is you're going to need, of course, Adobe Photoshop. And you're also going to need to download this set of brushes, which I will link down in the video's description. And I will also give a link down to this tutorial that I followed right here, just in case you guys want to read a little bit more about what I was looking at when I was uh, trying to pull off this effect. So the first thing that we're going to do right now is we're going to launch up Adobe Photoshop. And I already have the background image that I want to use right here right here saved. So this is a photo that I took uh, a little a little while ago, about a month or so, and um, I color corrected it and made it look like the way that I wanted to for the background. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a new group, and you can name this anything that you want to, but for the purposes of this video, I will not be naming anything. And inside that group, we're going to create a, whoops, inside that group, we're going to create a new layer. And on that new layer, we're going to select our elliptical marquee tool over here, and we're going to create a circle. And I'm just going to hold down shift to uh, move the circle anywhere I want to. And that seems like a good place for a circle. So now what we want to do is we want to fill the circle in with clouds. So go up to filter, go to render, and then go to clouds. And then it should look like this. Now, without deselecting the layer at all, go back up to filter and go to liquify. And now that we're here in liquify, you want to make sure you're in advanced mode and you want to set the brush size to anything bigger than your circle. So 850 seems good for me. You want to set the brush density to 80, the brush presser to 93 and the brush rate to 80. And to set the pressure, you simply have to go out of advanced mode to set the pressure. But now that we have all the settings like that, I just want you to start randomly clicking and holding and distort the clouds to make it look kind of like a spherical fashion. So I'm just going to click and hold until I get something that looks pretty good. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. I'm just going to distort the edges a little bit. And uh, that looks pretty cool for the sphere that we want to use. So let's go and click OK. And now we have it like that. And now we want to delete anything that's along the outside edges of the circle because the liquify tool will create some really bumpy and disgusting looking edges. So we're going to go to select, go to inverse, and then just press delete. And that will delete everything alongside the edges of the layer. And now duplicate that layer and name it anything that you want to. So now that we have two copies of that, and then you want to set the blending mode to both of those to hard light. So now that we have them both set to hard light, this is what they should look like right here. And that looks pretty awesome. So the last thing you want to do with these two layers is you want to make sure they're both selected and you want to link them together. So that way they're both linked together. And so now we have this kind of awesome translucent sphere just floating in the sky. And now we want to actually add in the kind of glowing effects. So we want to add a little bit of a glow coming from the middle of the sphere. So to do that, we're going to create a new layer and we're going to go over to our gradient tool over here. And then you want to select a radial gradient up here. And then you want to set your gradient to look a little something like this. Starting at white, going to a little bit of a light blue to sort of a darker blue to a really dark blue to a blue that's almost completely black and then just black itself right there then click ok and start from somewhere in the center of the sphere and hold down shift and go up until you reach the top of the sphere and you should get something that looks like this and that's pretty cool so we want to go and change the blending mode on that to linear dodge and add and then we should get something that looks a bit like that. Now this will look different every time you do it because I've gotten three different effects from doing this. So just uh, play around with it until it looks right to you guys. I'm just gonna lower the opacity on that or actually no, we'll keep the opacity on that uh, for now. 
And now that we have that like that, we're going to create a new layer and this is where our brushes are going to come into effect. So go to the link in the description and download these abstract brushes and then load them up in Photoshop. Make sure the color is set to white and then we are going to first of all start off with this brush right here which is uh, fl2.png and so it should look like this and I'm just going to select it and put it to that position that seems quite nice and now what we want to do is change the color of it so we're gonna click on the layer to bring up the blending options and give it an outer glow and you want to give it an outer glow of this color right here which is ffde 0 so i'm just going to copy that and i'm going to go and paste that in as the color for the outer glow and then click ok and that should be good for our first little thing of glowiness now create another layer and do the same but with uh, a different brush. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that right around there. And I'm actually gonna use a second color, which is this one, FFBA00. And these colors were discussed in the tutorial that I watched online. So feel free to check that out. It will be in the description down below. So let's just paste that down there and good golly, what the hell happened here? Okay, so that should be the color that we're using right now. And it looks like that. That looks pretty cool actually. I'm just gonna move it to around there and then I'm gonna create another layer and I'm gonna keep it on the same color but I'm gonna try and use this brush right here and I'm gonna click and I'm actually going to just rotate it to give it kind of a different position so right there seems pretty good and once again I'm gonna go to my outer glow and uh, paste that in and boom. Now one thing that I also forgot to mention with those is you want to set the contour. So if we click on contour and select that one and click OK, that's the contour that we want to use for all of the outer glows. So I forgot to mention that. I apologize for that. Okay, and now that we have all of the color and all of the contour set, as you can see, we have kind of these little edges going on by the glows, and we just want to touch those up by grabbing the eraser tool and setting it to kind of a soft eraser brush. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to the first one here, and I'm just gonna erase along the edges to get rid of that line and make it look a bit more like it wasn't just copied and pasted from a brush. I'm gonna do the same with uh, all of the other brush marks that we made. And as you can see, there we go. There is our energy sphere. Now, you guys can play around with this to make the effect look any way that you want to. This was just me doing it really quickly to show you guys the tutorial. But that is the energy sphere. As you can see, that's looking pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself. So that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope you guys get some pretty good use out of it. And if you want to go see the final image that I uploaded, you can check this link out to my DeviantArt page and I will be doing a lot more with this look in the future. You guys can also download this image that I used in the background. That's on my DeviantArt page as well. I'll probably link that in the description for you guys. And you can also look at the tutorial that I watched and figure out how to get this effect. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any suggestions for anything you want to see in future videos, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Okay, that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.